Hi y'all, welcome back to Geek Homestead. Um, this is our entry into Buck Run 11's December challenge um, to bake something um, that's a tradition in your family. And today we're going to be making topper bars. Um, they were a tradition in my husband's family growing up. They made them every year and we are continuing that tradition. Uh, so I'm going to be making the crust. I've got a cup of margarine, uh, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and I'm going to add in um, two cups of flour to make the crust. And Garrett is chopping the peanuts to put on the top. So uh, we'll be right back when I'm ready to pat the crust into the pan, and we'll show you Garrett's progress. Okay, we're back. Um, here we have Garrett is chopping the peanuts, and he's got quite a collection in that little bowl right there. He's doing a really good job. Lorena is mixing up the crust with by hand. Um, it's a little easier than using a spoon. So now it's all mixed up. She's going to start patting it into the pan. This is um, about an 11 by 15 um, baking sheet. I'm just going to um, press it in and all up the sides as well. Um, it's got about an inch inch up the sides. So we'll show you what it looks like um, just before we put it in the oven. But we're going to bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes until it's um, fully baked. Um, it's going to look dry on the top when we pull it out. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the pan. And we got it pretty well even all the way over, and it's up the sides. So now we're going to bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes. Okay, well we got the chocolate um, all melted. That is the second layer on top of the crust. Um, so we're just going to spread this around. Um, the chocolate is one 12 ounce bag of um, semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I put in about um, four blocks of chocolate bark um, that um, you can melt and use for a can making candies and stuff. And then there's a couple tablespoons of butter I put in here that, that helped it um, melt better. And I used a double boiler. And uh, so we're just going to spread this around all even over here. And then as soon as this is spread, we're going to put the nuts on top so they'll stick to it. You ready with those? Alright, this is almost done. Just spread it up to the edge. Oh, just a second. I've laid drop some nuts on. Okay, it's all covered with the chocolate and then y'all can spread it. Just spread. Yeah, sprinkle it on there. Sprinkle it on. Just take a handful and sprinkle it on there. Okay. Okay. You're gonna do some to Lorena? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let Lorena do some, and that should be about it. Okay. So once you get all the nuts on, um, you we're gonna put it in the fridge to um, cool off, and once the chocolate is hardened again, um, we'll cut them into about one inch pieces and um, put them in a container. Um, you store them in the refrigerator and they will stay fresh um, through New Year's. Um, it's a couple, um, we're about three weeks away. But they usually don't last that long. Um, if this makes it to Christmas, I'll actually be surprised. <laughs> well, we, eat them, we eat them up really fast, usually. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and y'all have a good day.